We're talking about sustainable meat. No, I'm not talking about a magical pig that gives me all the bacon I want. Although that would be really, really nice. When it comes to the meat industry as a whole, I think the majority of folks fall into one of two categories. Either they don't like to think about where their meat comes from at all, because let's face it, ignorance is bliss, or they villainize the meat industry because they've seen all the horrible and inhumane practices that a lot of large companies out there sadly employ. But in the last few years, there's been a real revolution within the world of butchering. And a lot of purveyors are now consciously working to provide more humane and sustainable meats to customers out there. At the forefront of this movement are two butchers right here in Los Angeles, Erica Nakamura and Emilia Posada, owners of the Lindy and Grundy Butcher Shop, who we recently had a chance to visit. Take a look. So here we are with the owners of the Lindy and Grundy Butcher Shop. Ladies, thank you so much for having us today. We really appreciate it. What is it that compelled you guys to open up a sustainable butcher shop? Erica and I are both animal rights activists. I was a vegetarian for 14 years and she was for eight. So we really wanted to open up a shop that would focus on supporting local, organic, sustainable agriculture and kind of changing the way that people consume animals. I, I have to bring this up because you just said it. You were vegetarians for a number of years. Yeah. Yep. How did you make the transition from being a vegetarian? My body was really craving animal protein, so I just had to respond to it. And actually, bacon was the gateway meat for me. Okay. And for you, what was your gateway meat? Uh, my gateway meat was fried chicken. Oh. Yeah, I was actually a closeted fried chicken eater. Uh, okay. You can believe that. But yeah. you should never deny yourself something you crave so much. So why sure. not have it in a really responsible way, right? What is a sustainable butcher shop for those that don't know? We're not traditional in the sense that there's literally about maybe 30, 40 butcher shops in America that only get whole animals in, don't supplement with anything in a box, and are actually supporting local farms. So at our shop, we get in whole animals only, mm -hmm. and we butcher everything ourselves here, and we utilize the whole animal here. So it's pretty much from the snout to the tail, you guys use everything that's there. That's Absolutely. right. Absolutely. What are some of the questions that people should ask from their butcher to sort of find out about the ethics of their sourcing? Good question. I think it's important to ask questions like, where are your animals coming from? How many farmers do you use? How far do the animals have to travel when they're being slaughtered? Is it organic? Are they free of hormones? Where are they being raised? Stuff mm -hmm. like that. You have no hormones in any of this meat whatsoever. Correct. Never. Now, in recent years, it seems like there's been a, a real shift to this sort of meat renaissance and uh, you know sustainability. Why do you think suddenly people care so much about this kind of stuff? Well, I think we can all agree that our food system has been hijacked by big ag and big food. So a lot of mom and pop shops that used to exist don't exist anymore, at least for our generation. And I think that people are just dying to know where their food comes from. It's a basic right. Yeah. So how can people sort of put this into action? How can they take part in what you're talking about? I think it's really important to shop at farmer's markets, buy directly from farmers if you don't have a local farmer's market. Support your own local agriculture and your own local economy. Shop at small businesses and try to make a change. For the past two years, I've been buying exclusively from five family-owned, family-run farms that didn't have anybody to sell to except the farmer's market before I came around, and business is booming. So what are some of the more esoteric cuts that you guys have here that aren't that common? Because we cut the entire animal, there are all these other muscles that people usually grind and turn into hamburger or into sausage, right? Because those things are so popular. Mm -hmm. But for us, we really like to highlight those muscles because they're super tender and super delicious and you never see them anywhere. So things like the spider steak, which come from the interior of the top sirloin, of okay. a steer. On the other side, the oyster steak, which is also just as exciting. What is the oyster steak? The is it what I think it is? Is it? Is it the is it the the, the man parts? No, of, no, no. Of the no. Oh, no, okay. That's the thing. Well, because of Rocky Mountain oysters. Course, no, no, course. like, like that's what I, Have you, know. you ever heard of a chicken oyster? Uh no. The I chicken not. oyster is like the hip pocket inside the pelvis. Yeah. So that's essentially where it's the exact same muscle on a steer and it's unbelievably tender. Okay. Do you have Rocky Mountain oysters here <laughs> no, or no? No. You don't? We try what do you not do with to do those. I'll so. pass on the balls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, <laughs> I think I'm going to have a beef and bacon burger to go in addition to a spider steak. Awesome. Sounds really High delicious. Five. All right. Thank you very much. All right. And you. <laughs> Boom. That's 10. <laughs> you know, as an activist, I think it's easy to say, yeah, the meat industry is deplorable and awful and we should all become vegetarians, but that's not really an option in the grand scheme of things. Progressive butcher shops out there like Lindy and Grundy are helping us change the way we think about sustainable meats and in turn the way we treat animals that become tasty treats for our mouths. 
Now, if you'd like to start taking action, click the link in the description below to help remove gestation crates on pig farms. For BFD, I'm David Park, and make sure you're subscribed.